Hello dear students, welcome to course on Energy Management and Audit, abbreviated as EMA. The subject code for this subject is BEELE703T. I am Professor Triveli Naidu from Department of Electrical Engineering at St. Vincent Paloti College of Engineering and Technology, Nagpur. In this video lecture, we shall see the significance of studying EMA. So let's get started. In this video lecture, we shall focus on introduction to energy, what is energy management, objectives of energy management, what is energy audit, process of energy auditing, energy manager and energy auditor and bureau of energy efficiency abbreviated as BEE. Now what is energy? The basic question that arises in our mind while studying this subject is what is energy because we are going to deal with energy throughout the subject. Energy is nothing but the capacity of a physical system to perform work. Energy exists in several forms. It could be heat energy, it could be kinetic or mechanical energy, it could be light or potential energy, it could be electrical energy and various other forms of energy. Now why do we need to manage this energy properly? Because we are electrical engineers we will deal with electrical energy more. Okay, so why do we manage this energy properly? First reason is capacity and load and the imbalance in between them. Because the customers are ordering more and more energy. They want to consume more and more energy while the resources are limited. Say for example at Nagpur itself, there is a thermal power plant. The resources used is coal and we have limited quantity of coal available. So there is actually a problem with coal being depleted and we all know that coal take thousands of years to get formed. So in that case, we truly need to have this energy used wisely. If we don't do so, then the fossil will get depleted because the customer's demand will never stop. And you can see the result of it is load shedding. We all can experience it. So we need to manage energy properly. What is the next reason to manage the energy properly? the greenhouse effect, the global warming. So we need to keep in mind the environmental effects. Why the global warming is taking place? More or less because of the carbon dioxide emission. The carbon that is being liberated in the atmosphere is causing the global warming and the temperature is increasing day by day, which is a serious concern not only in India but globally. So this management of energy becomes a global aspect, not only an Indian aspect. Now savings, obviously if we do not wisely use energy then we will pay more and more for this units that we are consuming. For example nowadays we are replacing all the tube lights with CFLs and LEDs because of the awareness. We all know that using LED as compared to tube light will give us more energy saving. We all know the consumption in LED lights is less as compared to the tube light. So in our home, we are replacing all these things with the new ones, the new technology. 
similarly the normal fans are now being replaced by gorilla fans so so all these things make us to think about managing energy well now what is this energy management energy management is defined as the strategy of adjusting and optimizing energy using systems and procedures so as to reduce energy requirements per unit of output while holding constant or reducing total cost of producing the output from these systems so let us synthesize this definition and understand what it is energy management has to basically do with the cycle first of all energy management emphasizes on understanding the energy use nextly we have to plan and organize using energy we need to have a proper planning of energy consumption then we have to implement this planning in an any industry or in any company then we need to constantly verify and monitor and we need to report to the company that their energy consumption is proper or not what all equipments they are using in their industries are efficient or not whether they are using more energy and giving less work which is not acceptable and if all these things go well in sync the company will be contented okay so basically in a company we are understanding the energy use we are properly planning and organizing the energy usage we are implementing the plan the policies required to save this energy we are verifying monitoring and reporting to the company regarding the energy management and after all it is a matter of company contentment so this is basically what is energy management now objectives of energy management for managing energy you need to answer five questions firstly how much energy is being consumed second how is the energy consumed third where is the energy consumed fourth when is the energy consumed and fifth what is the quality of the energy that is being consumed now to answer these five questions we have energy auditors so let us now see what are these energy audits what is energy audit as per indian energy conservation act 2001 energy audit is defined as the verification monitoring and analysis of use of energy including submission of technical report containing recommendation for improving energy efficiency with cost benefit analysis and an action plan to reduce energy consumption this definition is very simple to understand it is basically verifying monitoring and analyzing the use of energy okay and by doing all these things what it would do it would generate a report and it will recommend in any industry it is going to give the audit and it will suggest plan of action to reduce this energy consumption now process of energy audit what is the cycle involved in energy auditing let us see so now firstly you need to have a pre arranged appointment in any industry or in any firm then secondly there would be a confidential review and survey 
the auditor that is going into the company or any industry will monitor the energy the energy usage then this review and survey is basically done with a lot of meters being involved okay they use a lot of components they use a lot of meters in order to analyze what kind of energy usage pattern they are following plus nowadays they are having various softwares which will tell you when the peak points were observed all the observation you will get in this software the peak load time when the load requirement was less what at the night time what at the mid midday what about the evening what early in the morning so these software keep a track of energy consumption in an industry what an energy auditor is supposed to go and analyze whether the things are properly functioning or not where whether there is some requirement of suggestion to be given to the organization in order to have an efficient use of this energy because we want to avoid the energy wastage then assessment of funding options nowadays government is giving you so many perks if you are using renewable energy resources why to go so far in our institution st vincent paloti we are having a solar rooftop and we are getting such a lot of perks because of having that solar rooftop so the state of maharashtra is giving us some benefits because we are utilizing the solar energy that is the renewable energy resource so there is a lot of option of funding moreover if the students get to get to have some project on these energy management systems they could be funded by the government sectors okay so assessment and funding options are being suggested by the auditors to the firm or industry they are going in then implementation whatever plan of action that have been given by the auditor the industry will accept it and they will try to implement their plan of action and would implement some policies in order to have more energy efficient system so this is the process of energy auditing we have a pre arranged appointment then a confidential review and survey is held then there is assessment of funding option if available and the implementation of all the policies and plan so there is a smooth running of efficient energy system so this is all about process of energy audit energy auditor and energy manager we could be working as an energy auditor and energy manager there is a good job prospective in this sector why because in today's scenario every industry is expected to keep one energy manager in their industry plus they are expected to do energy auditing at least once a year so we have different energy managers and energy auditors now both these things look similar so what is the difference in between them energy manager primary responsibility are planning managing and improving an institution's energy efficiency through an energy management system so more like managerial tasks they have to implement plans and policies they have to properly plan they have to properly manage okay they will have to see whether energy efficiency is obtained or not and whereas the auditor's primary duty is to make energy audits or assessments like any account auditing is done to see whether the expenses are proper or not whether the taxes are being paid on time or not the similar pattern we have energy audits if the energy is utilized properly or not whether there has been proper power factor retainment or not so so many factors have to be kept in mind 
so energy auditor and energy manager but not all of us could be the energy auditor and energy manager 